Good day everyone, so for today's video, so I would like to discuss the chapter 8 topic about ethics and international business and trade. So, in this topic, we're talking about ethics. So, what is ethics? The field of ethics are called moral philosophy. It's a discipline, a branch of philosophy that seeks uh, virtue. Yes, uh, being a have a company so ethics is a very important yes ethics or moral uh, philosophy uh, that means examine the principle of right and wrong behavior of a company it helps also individuals and societies to determine what actions are virtuous or harmful in the company ethics also in the company is deeply rooted in question about justice fairness and it means to live a good life so that is an e-text. So we're talking about uh, virtue. Virtue is conformity of one's life and conduct to moral and ethical principles. It deals with morally, uh, morality about what is uh, considered right and wrong behavior for people, organizations, governments, and countries. So virtue, yes, uh, it's very uh important also so we're talking about the right and wrong no so in, uh, in the ethics so virtue is refers to the living of acting according to moral and ethical principles such uh, like uh, honesty fairness and integrity it is about developing good character and consistently making moral sounds decision for example, an employee finds a mistake in financial reporting, acting with virtue may report the error to their supervisor even though it might delay the project because honesty is the right thing to do. Yes, that is a virtue. Refers to, uh, according to the moral ethical principles, honesty, fairness, and integrity. So that is virtue. So we're talking about business ethics. Business ethics is a set of moral rules, principles, and standards that govern how businesses operate, how business decisions are made, and how people are treated. It refers to the rules, principles for deciding what is morally right or wrong when doing business. This system of moral and ethical beliefs, values, and principles that guides behaviors and decisions of a business, organizations, and the individuals within the organizations. Yes, uh, business ethics. No? So this, uh, this type of ethics uh, that business uh, ethics ensures the companies operate responsibly and tricks stakeholders like employees, customers, and the community fairly. So we need to uh, uh, treat this, all of our uh, stakeholders, employees, customers, and community be fairly. And we must to address also the issue like fair labor practices, corporate governance, and environmental sustainability. International business ethics emerged quite late globally compared to the business ethics that came up in the 70s. It was only the late 1990s when economic uh, development occurred on a worldwide scale that international business ethics came to the poor. International business ethics also is important. Aid and regulate international business and trade and create winning situations for international marketing uh, participants. So, uh, in this point, no, uh, international business, uh, business ethics uh, addresses the ethical dilemmas in a global trade, such as respecting cultural differences, um, preventing corruption, and ensuring fair labor standard across borders. When it's also with the global globalizations, it became essential to establish consistent ethical standards worldwide. So, in ethical decision making. Uh, it, uh, it is imperative that there be a specific decision-making framework. So, decision-making framework 
that will help decision makers uh, make ethical decisions. Generally, this framework is embodied in a company code of ethics. Yes, uh, ethical decision making or, or framework provide the structured steps for individuals or organizations to evaluate and choose the most ethical course of action. Yes, it, 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 uh, this involves identifying the ethical issues, considering the stakeholders, evaluating possible actions, and selecting the most ethical option. So, this is very important no, to identify the ethical issues uh, in ethical decision-making framework. Organizations have their codes of conduct or code of ethics that invades the principles defined the organizations, reflecting the organizational culture of the company to help um, employees conduct business properly and any violation that uh, mean disciplinary remedies like suspension or even terminations and and organizations may also extend it because of ethics or conduct to partners, suppliers, customers, sub subcontractors, and contractual and uh, counterparts. So in these statements are uh, these so-called organizational codes of conduct. Okay, so organizational codes of conduct are uh, this outline acceptable behavior and decision-making guidelines for employees and partners. Uh, these codes uh, promote a healthy organizational culture and ensure ethical business practices. Violating these codes can result disciplinary action or terminations of the company. So this is the uh, very important no? uh, to have an organizational, organizational codes of conduct. If the violation of a company uh, codes of conduct violates a law of, or a government regulation, it can be punishable by the government agencies concerned like the Securities and Exchange Commission or the Bureau of Internal Revenue. So, in this statement, uh, uh, they're talking about the legal consequences of violations. When a code of conduct violations also breaches laws, the company or individual can face a legal action. Government agencies can impose fines, uh, revoke uh, licenses, or initiate uh, the law sets against the offending company or individual. So it's very clear, no? If you have uh, some legal uh, consequence violation, so it could be uh, can face a legal action, even uh, to revoke your licenses or any uh, that government agencies can revoke or initiate the lawsuit against offending the company or individuals. Professionals uh, like doctors, accountants, lawyers, and teachers have their code of ethics, and violations will mean banning the violator from practicing the profession. If the violator violates a law or a government regulation, it can be punishable by the government agencies concerned like the Professional Regulation Commission, or PRC, Board of Accountants for Accountants, uh, Philippines Bar Association Incorporated for lawyers and other government agencies in charge in the different uh, professions. So, it means uh, this is the called uh, professional code of ethics. So, even the doctors, no? Even the doctors, the lawyers, uh, any uh, government agencies uh, must have this type of code of ethics to ensure the professional act with integrity and prioritize the welfare of their clients or stakeholders and also violation can result losing license or legal consequences also. So if that uh, professional like doctors, uh, uh, <coughs> even the government agencies or the lawyers if uh, violate, uh, they violated this, the professional code of ethics, so it can be uh, take an action uh, to have uh, revoke their I licenses also. So uh, we must be more bear also that pro our professional uh, practitioners so must have this uh, bear this type of professional code of ethics. Groups within the government like a. Uh, 
parliamentary and other legislative bodies also adopt a code of conduct and code of ethics. The enforcement and sanctioning is separate from the actual legal proceedings. This someone may be both in violation of the law and a violation of company ethical standards. Alternatively, uh, someone may be in violation of company ethical standards but not violation of the law. So, this is so called the uh, government code of conduct. Uh, so, someone like a uh, <coughs> difference, no? A while uh, that I mentioned a while ago uh, about the professional code of ethics. But the government code of conduct, uh, this is the set of behavioral uh, standards for public officials to ensure also the integrity, transparency, and accountability. Violating also this conduct, uh, these codes uh, might result in uh, disciplinary actions, but not all violations are criminal offenses. Issues handled uh, falling under business ethics in the international marketing environment include child labor, transfer uh, pricing, fair trade movement, bio prospecting, and uh, bio bio piracy. So this is a uh, this ethics in international marketing. So in ethical issues or international marketing, often involve a cultural sensitivity like fairness and responsible practices and also the companies uh, must be na na navigate the ethical challenges like child labor trans uh, transfer pricing or by piracy to determine ethical integrity for example a coffee company ensures it pro its products are cert uh, certified under fair trade standards by doing so it guarantees uh, for this uh, farmers are paid fairly, uh, avoiding exploitation in developing countries even when local practices allow underpayment. So it's very important. So this is ethics and international marketing. But fair, uh, yes, to avoid explo exploitation in developing countries. No, so whenever the practices allow to underpayment, labors it's involved using uh, children to do jobs for companies. <clears throat> or small businesses owners some cottage uh, industries employ children as part of their labor force <clears throat> so this means that that child labor is involves uh, employing ch uh, children in work that deprives them of their childhood education or property development it's a major ethical issues in global business particularly in manufacturing and agriculture yes is, is very true and correct so <clears throat> example a multinational a multinational clothing brand uh, discover its subcontractors in a developing countries are using child labor to produce goods the company takes immediate action to terminate contracts with those suppliers and establish strict stricter oversight to prevent future occurrences so we must also to have uh, be aware that the ethics that of child labor. So because child labor involves employing children in the work to deprive them their childhoods or education or proper development. So that is a very uh, major ethical issues of global business, particularly some manufacturing and agriculture. So that's all. Thank you.